Salambo the Silent Film appears as an artifact of this erudential geocinema that reactivates, quote, the memories, fantasies, and imaginary of colonial culture. The media expresses familiar, yet far, landscapes, as sets of Carthaginian ruins mirror the sites that surround the Mediterranean Sea. The oceanic and arid sets are visual cues for the audience to approximate and stabilize the multiple locations of this idea of Italy. The film's presentation of a hot, dry, yet warm and wet climate closens the distances between Italy, the peninsula, and Carthage of Northern Africa. This is what Alessandra de Mayo calls the proximity that exists, has always existed, between Italy and Africa separated but united by the Mediterranean, and documented in legends, myths, histories, even culinary traditions and visual arts and religion. Salambo is transnational in adaptation, distribution, and representation on YouTube. The video follows the transnational friendship between Matho and Spendius, the companion's adventure to unite Matho with his love, the high priestess named Salambo. The pair meet Salambo in Carthage following their participation in the mercenary wars, which ended in their defeat by the Roman Empire. Along with a mass of multinational mercenaries, Matho and Spendius were unpaid for their militancy and led the eruption of revolt and activism in Carthage. Spendius's presence on screen powerfully situates a slave's fugitive experience. He reveals the intersection of the fugitive, the flight, the fungible, and the resemblance of each together. He is of Numidian origin, fleeing from his enslavement under the Roman Empire where he has been held captive in Campania. He flees to join Carthage in dismantling the dominating Western Empire. The film follows the aftermath of the war as Spendius passes from his fugitive flight of his captivity to the fungible possibilities of his body, moving between humans and properties and disguises. Spendius's mobility ends the threat and potential for his recapture as he, his ultimate move allows him to transhumanar in the Dantean sense, to transhumanize, to pass beyond the human. In his final act of transgressing those who oppress him, Spendius becomes divine within the temple of Tanit.